All right, all right. Let, let, let's talk about something a little bit even more fun. Um, over the past few conferences, I have had the chance. Let me let me rephrase that. Over the past few conferences that I've been able to attend, which stopped uh, in very early 2020, um, I've been able to attend these and I've been able to hang out with some really cool vendors that I've been showcasing technology that's going to be going into the data center pretty soon. I I'm certain of that. That involve things like 3D modeling, digital twins, augmented reality, and virtual reality, especially when it comes to data center infrastructure management, right? Working with data-driven solutions that are all of a sudden predictive and prescriptive. Now, outside of, of me enjoying looking silly with these things, yes, I, I'm, I don't usually just walk around with my hands out like that when I have a goggle set on me. These are, these are so cool, friends. And these kinds of technologies are kind of already here today. Now, I wanna kind of point out the pictures that you're looking at here. So the one on the left where it says discover um, automation and augmented reality, um, I'm sorry, aut autonomous solutions and augmented reality architecture. I'm looking, uh, this is an Oracle event where they are looking at facilities management, right? So you can look at an entire facility and that right there on the left, that's AR. So I'm actually able to see the real world that is overlapped with this digital information. I can take a look at a building, see how much stuff is open, what's available, um, what the price is for rent, for example, you know, which floor I can put a facility on or, or a piece of my infrastructure. Um, you know, what are the, capa the, the capacity of that facility as far as utilities are concerned? I mean, I can literally look around my environment and pull this information down and actually make some really cool decisions, use this little remote control in my, in my right hand to kind of move back and forth. But this was so cool where I'm able to sort of seamlessly look around at a building at a facility and actually see what's happening in there. Now, from an infrastructure perspective, some other really cool things is being able to look at an empty space, for example, and seeing how a rack converged infrastructure, a piece of equipment, a power unit, an air handler, anything can fit into a specific building and facility. And measurements are actually really, really accurate. So you can see this, quote, digital twin in real life through augmented reality and actually kind of make some decisions around it. Now, the one on the right where I am I look like I'm surfing, I'm, I'm not, um, I know it's hard to see, but if you take a look just to my right, uh, you got those two monitors there. There's a really small little, little square. Those actually are about five racks, real life racks that are in a virtual environment, digital twins. And I can, with my little Moreau control and my, my virtual reality headset, open up the rack, pull something out, check a blade out, turn the entire rack around, look at where the wires are, look at where the UPS is, disassemble and reassemble the entire rack. And so all of a sudden you're starting to see how these facilities are quickly turning to 3D models, digital twins of what we're actually working with, where an architect can put these things on and look at a remote facility to make improvements, to make adjustments, to deploy entirely new sets of equipment without actually having to be there in the environment. And this is going to be great for things like edge computing, remote facilities, supporting really complex environments where maybe you can't get somebody out there in an emergency. Um, and please understand that based on these trends and metrics, uh, these kinds of solutions are absolutely in the mix today. And this is the, some of the stuff that we found from the AFCOM State of the Data Center report. So first of all, security, big point of implementation, both physical and logical, making sure things are patched and updated, make sure you don't have any vulnerabilities or holes. Those are all really important, important um, uh, uh, components of a, of a good management system. Asset management, that's a big one right now. 60% have it now, and that's going to continue to grow very much over the next 12 to 36 months because we have more stuff to manage. I mean, quite quite simply. Uh, environment management, really, really important to have visibility. And again, not just reactive data, predictive and prescriptive, where you can actually look at these and see patterns using machine learning and data-driven technologies, where it's a big part of this, to help find patterns in data that we as humans simply can't see. Power, efficiency, and intelligence, also a really, really big one, um, where we're able to actually see how we utilize power, where green energy is coming from, and how we can make fundamental improvements. Now, I left the two here, um, the, the, the last four, some of the best points of conversation. We asked these questions last year as well, integration with smarter systems, so data-driven data solutions, and that number was certainly less, 29% have some level of integration with data-driven solutions. Now, hang on to your seats here. Almost 48% are going to be deploying some type of data-driven machine learning architecture within DSIM over the next three years. That's not that long, almost like a blink of an eye when it comes to technology. So a part of the question is, you know, when, when you're looking at DSIM solutions, when you're looking at 3D modeling, being able to better understand airflow and the, these dynamics of our data centers. So 
just just think about it, right? Asking the question of do these solutions I have right now have this capability? Is there a roadmap for this in the near future? How am I going to be leveraging data? Because our infrastructures are becoming a lot more smart and a lot more data driven to make better decisions around efficiency, data center management, um, and so on. Another fun one. I mean, listen, I'm putting these headsets and goggles on for a reason. Um, we've got these really cool trends, 20%. And I'm not surprised. I've actually seen some real world operators using AR and VR in the data center. And here's the kicker. Another 29%, almost 30% are going to have this over the next 12 to 36 months. Augmented reality and virtual reality in the data center. If you're sitting here thinking, oh my God, this guy's insane. I, I, are they really good? Yes, absolutely. Um, we're seeing a new generation of data center managers. Hey, I, I'm, I'm a millennial. I, I'm just going to put that out there. Don't blame the world on me. We've got Gen Zs now. It's it's all their fault now. Um, but in that sense, this new generation of data center architects and engineers and people working in digital infrastructure space want to leverage and use these technologies to not only make better decisions, but to make better decisions and improve the quality of the infrastructures that they're working on. Um, and here, here's the big thing. These systems are absolutely scaling the parameters of what we used to know as, as data center management to into virtual workloads, containers, looking deeper into cloud. Check this out, 89%. 89% came back and said that they're gonna see deeper integration with cloud computing, virtualization solutions, and a deeper understanding into how these workloads actually operate within the data center. I mean, go back just a few years and say, hey, you know what, my hypervisor, my VM, all of this stuff is a part of DSEM. People are like, no, 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 no. Just, just let me deal with my server. Let me deal with the physical infrastructure. I don't want to look at your virtual landscape. That's not the case anymore. And if you think this isn't happening, this is up from 77% last year where people are going to see this capability to granularly integrate with cloud and virtualization solutions is a really important part of their business. So something to think about when it comes to cloud computing, virtualization, smart systems, and your DSIM architecture.